Well, folks, welcome to Street Beefs West Coast, where shit goes down. Come and get the first take on Hell on Wheels. Let's get this money! Street Beefs was started by Christopher Scarface Wilmore in Harrisburg, Virginia, with the mission of providing an outlet that reduces deadly violence in the streets. With the motto, guns down, gloves up, Street Beefs is an outlet for young men to get their aggression out in a healthy way. Street Beefs has four different locations across the country. The headquarters, Satan's Backyard in Harrisburg, Virginia. Street Beefs West Coast out in Mesa, Arizona. Street Beefs Scrapyard in Gig Harbor, Washington. And Street Beefs Dirty South in Houston, Texas. To some, this may look like a bunch of knuckleheads brawling in the backyard, but to those in the Street Beefs community, this is a vitally important part of their life. Today, I head to Street Beefs West Coast to bring you guys this story. Good to meet you. How you doing? Nice to meet you, I'm Tommy. Up bright and early to see fist fly and some backyard brawls. I mean, is this not the dream job, folks? Waking up and seeing some fights. Fights are just such a primal element of being a human. I think it just brings out something in us. Is this part of our nature? I think it's undeniable that it is. We're gonna see a cool twist on the fighting, which is a way to build community. It's a kind of a paradox that by fighting you build community. Here we go, folks, here we go. Oh yeah, baby. What way are you guys at? Uh, 195. 135. What's going through your mind right now? Straight to knock some people out, bro. Just getting it over with, bro. I don't get nervous so much anymore. It's for fun. It's not really here to like hurt somebody. You know, you're just here to have fun. Everything in your mind is saying, leave, leave, eject, eject. I don't know, man. It's just something about getting hit in the face that I'm attracted to. <laughs> Honestly, man, I'm nervous more than excited today. So guys, you can feel it. It's that pre-fight tension that's in the air. There's competitors that have to face the fear. It's a big time fear to step into the ring. It's probably the biggest part of the fight even is having the courage to do it in the first place. I made the walk back in the day in the amateur cage. I'll show you guys a clip of that now. Everyone that's stepping in the cage today, a lot of respect for the courage that they're showing. And we have our leader and matchmaker. You looks like 165. You're in zone. Thank you, sir. My How man. you doing, man? How are you, sir? Good to see you. You look good, goddammit. <laughs> well, you do too. We're here with Anthony, aka Wero. What is brewing right now? Uh, right now, we're just doing weigh-ins and check-ins. We discourage weight cutting completely. We don't like that. It's dangerous. You know, if you don't know what you're doing. And I heard we're in a, we're in a celebrity's backyard right now. A celebrity's backyard? No. We're in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you though, fam. Why the hell did you guys sign up to come here on an early morning to fight somebody? What made you decide to do that? It gives you something to do. It gives you something to want to believe in. And for some of us, that, that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us motivated. A man without purpose is usually depressed, right? Exactly. What does street beefs mean to you? Oh, I think it's outstanding. I think it's a good idea. To be a man is family. It's community. The community. Community, man. It's the fellowship. It's the community. They all love each other. They all get along. They all afterwards go to an after party, have a great time. Brotherhood. Street Street Beefs just gives opportunity to people that don't really have opportunity. It's that so they're normal people looking for community and they find it in the yard. Bathroom situation. You have like 50 fighters walking mm -hmm. in your house to oh, yeah, poop. Or rolling right in the house, really? dropping deuces, plenty of baby wipes. You're good, bro. Okay. You got shit? You go for it. Okay. We could fight together, we could shit together. Exactly. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw this. This is where everybody's going to do their hard sparring. It's rocky and it's a pain in the ass. Are any of these full MMA or are these all striking? Some of them are MMA. Okay, so they'll go down to the ground. Yep. They'll get sand in their shorts. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you can hit these. They're pretty. It's pretty solid. They're not going anywhere.
I feel like part of the human experience is finding what you're made of and how far you can exactly. go. Exactly. I love it. Every time I've done six on five and one, I don't want to miss any. Like it's one of those things that you don't want to miss when they come about. Now what got you into fighting? Uh, anger. I got into fighting because I was a clerk at a gas station and it was getting robbed all the time and I just felt like a, kind of like a pussy. I didn't tell anyone like don't do that. Yeah, I grew up in a rough neighborhood so I was picked on a lot as a little kid, you know, and I was forced to fight. And why do you think people picked on you? You seem like a nice guy. Well, I grew up around a lot of black and Puerto Rican people, so it's like I was just that white boy. And I started fighting. I got some boom in my voice. It made me just a bigger man. They have something inside of them that just really makes them want to go in and beat the crap out of people. Okay, we about to get started. Arizonian Samurai Jack, Viking Warrior vs. Ashraf, Havoc vs. El Macho, No Love vs. Clutch, Bushido Zed vs. Hell on Wheels, Everybody start getting ready. If I just called your name, be on deck, be ready. Yes, sir. What makes you stop a fight? You know, if he's too rocked, two days, not focused, we have to stop it. Good luck in there. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. What's up, mom? How you doing? All my family back at home. From the 916 to the 209, man. We out here, baby. Another day in the office. Shout out to everybody here. Let's get the start. Street Beast West Coast here at the Hot Box. We're about to pop it off and start this event. Street Beast West Coast, round one. People think to win a fight, it's about going the haymakers to the head. But this guy did an excellent job of working the body. Round. This fight was close to being over. Round two, fight! Let's go. Work my body. Three. 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 Now what's the strategy? My guy's tired over here, so we gotta keep pressing, keep working the body. Those body shots really add up, don't they? Absolutely. Everyone's tough when they're fresh, but when you're tired, that's what really shows who you are. That shot's like the air out of him. That last shot, you can hear him go. Is the rule no bleeding? Yeah. Yeah, so as soon as we see blood, because none of our fighters are tested, we stop it. And if we can't get it to stop, we just stop the fight. Keep popping that jab. Keep popping that jab. Three, two, one. Hey, guys. Right here, guys, after a hard fought fight, we got by decision. Samurai Jack. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. Thank you, everybody. It's good to see y'all. My family back at home, Sacramento, Stockton. Let's get down. You put that work in, man. How you feeling right now? But man, I knew that dude was gonna be a warrior. I'm just proud to be here, man. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well done. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh. The knockout of the day is brought to you by today's sponsor. The crazy knockout you're about to see is brought to you by Prize Picks. If you want to get in on the action and make some picks, Prize Picks is the app for you. Will LeBron James score more or less than 25 and a half points? Will Cantavius Caldwell Pope score more or less than 10 and a half points? I don't know. You pick. And if you pick right, your $20 turns to $60. Prize Picks is available in most states in the US. They also have sports like baseball, hockey, fighting, even golf. All first time users that use promo code TOMMYG get a 100% match up to $100. Link is in pinned comments and description. See you on Prize Picks. Now this gentleman is facing the challenge of recovering and having to fight, continue fighting, while dealing with the pain of a testicular impact. You're gonna parry, work off that parry. Okay, they're back. Yes, sir, again. Again, again. Go create that distance, throw the number. Distance, throw the number. Yes, sir. Dude, nothing like out. a knockout oh. punch to get the blood pumping. How you feeling right now, big guy? Tired, tired as f 
Yeah. It was good to get a good knockout like that. Clean knockout, clean kill. Feel great about it. Yeah, he does every, every event. I started, this, I started this, to feel it at the end. Of past three events, he passed. He knocked every somebody up. Really? Bro, this dude is, he fights for Dana White. Yeah? Yeah, power stop right here, man. What's your take on those first two fights, man? It's absolutely a phenomenal start. Both of those guys are very, very good. I'm impressed. For sure. Tons of, tons of punches thrown in that second fight. And that first one was a banger. Like, they were cracking. Everyone's emptied Both the coming. gas tank so yes. far. Oh, yeah. No one's holding anything back. Yeah. Yeah. They know they can't. In this next fight, there's some bad blood. Homeboy over there in the in the orange. But well, then he started talking about my mother. Then I talked about his wife. El Macho in the orange was talking shit on Facebook about Havoc's mom. Number one rule of street fighting is don't talk about the guy's mom, right? Yeah, it's gonna get your ass whooped. Yeah, I'm a mama's boy, so I don't, I don't give a f who knows. So in this next fight, there's more beef than a bird. Fight! Go! <laughs> El Macho comes out strong, swinging heavy haymakers. Havoc stays in the pocket, blocking most of them, and allowing El Macho to tire himself out. In the heat of the moment, El Macho interpreted this as an elbow. This was Havoc's response. Get the f out of here with that shit. Boy. Hey, 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 hey. We got a little smack talk on. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I heard, yeah. If it turns into a beef fight, you guys keep talking shit, then you know what? There's no, no wins or losses. You guys just fight it out. And it's unlimited rounds. Three, two, one, fight! My boy Havoc showed a lot of restraint right here. One, got time, two, got time, don't breathe. Oh, they're angry at each other. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Do a heavyweight throw like that, you know, someone's falling. Yeah, someone's falling. Working, man, so. El Macho's gas tank reached its limit. With nothing left to give, he threw in the towel. Good? Hey, don't feel bad. Good? That's it. That's you it, it, brother. Good sportsmanship. Good job, you guys. Good, good, okay, good sportsmanship at the end. Give each other a hug. Y'all just see. Listen. Stop talking. This is fine. We're, we're here to fight. You still want to keep going? Solution, that's it. Let's go, boys. And that's the beautiful thing about fighting, right? Is like, you get all the energy out, and then you realize, ah, oh, we're not so different from each other, huh? I just think that's how it should be, man, to be honest with you. I just want to give a mad shout out to the dude right here in the blue uh, sweatshirt. Yeah, that's my long lost biological father I found last year. And he. Let's go! He is a pivotal part in the making of this. So if you get a chance, thank him. He absolutely loves marijuana, so there's that too. Anthony, you said that's your long lost father. You found father, yeah. Good? How'd you like, find him a year ago? 23 Me was just like, he's your dad. And I was like, okay. And then you invite him to the Street Beats event. Yeah, well, he he started, he started wanted to know who I was. I told him, I was like, I got a podcast, a couple fights, I fight out Street Beats. So he started watching all this shit and he just enjoyed it. The Lord made me pasty white. So, what was it like after all these years? Finding your son and realizing, oh, he runs his own street beats operation. What was that like? Pretty cool. When I first found out about Anthony and saw that he was a fighter, and I said, you know what? I, that is my boy. Next, folks, we cover the remarkable story of Hell on Wheels. He's a wheelchair boxer with over 30 fights. Here's his story. I'm really living like a special kid's dream. Like, think about it, man. If you're a kid in a wheelchair at 10 years old right now, who would you rather be than Hell on Wheels? So I'm blessed that uh, Village Square restaurant out there, they, uh, they help out with my gym bill and uh, get me out here to places like this so I can showcase my skills. The Hell on Wheels challenge is non-stop action. You're in the pocket the entire time. I mean, you're banging the whole time. It's not for the week. Come on. Come on. Have you ever fought in this manner before? Never. You're a brave soul. I'm stepping into this man's realm. This looks like this would be a tough one to ref in a way. I know, that's why I asked him, <laughs> is there eight counts? So like, if I'm not intelligently defending myself, absolutely, they should call us. It's an honor to fight Hell on Wheels, and thank you very much for everyone being here. Y'all know who it is. It's the one and only, the hyped up heavy, the man Hell on Wheels. Stephen A. Smith from ESPN, I got a message for you, man. Why in the f we still talking about Aaron Rodgers? Come and get the first take on Hell on Wheels. Let's get this money! Fight! Round two, fight! Thank you, my man. Thank you. Where the f is Moose, little bitch ass? Oh. Where the f 
Hopefully my second opponent shows up here to the yard. Uh, we're gonna get another one in for the fans today. Can you tell the people more about your story? About three years ago, I was an out of shape fat kid in a wheelchair. I showed up to the OG yard. I kept working, I kept working. I've now had 30 plus fights. You've had 30 plus fights. 27 of those fights are against like regular leg having people. Only three of them have been against other wheelchair guys. Undefeated against wheelchair guys, period, point blank. Nobody in the world that can beat me. So how has street peeps and how has fighting changed your life? 10 year old me, man, would really be proud because like when you're 10, you always want to be a superhero. But I grew up to be the superhero, you know what I mean? It's the coolest thing in the world to go to a restaurant, go to a bar, and people be like, get money, that's hell on wheels, man. You're the guy from YouTube. Greatest thing in the world, man. Hey, uh, love, to, love to fight. Appreciate meeting you, brother. And we'll see you for the next one, okay? Yep. What's this? We're selling tacos. Ooh. I know it's cliche and I say it all the time, but like you've seen it now. Yeah. Like this is a tight knit group of individuals that just happen to fight. Um, How do you like having this in your own backyard? Um, it's a lot of fun. It can be stressful while you're running the event, but it's it's super super dope. Yep. And the cops are here. A lot of ops. What are they doing? Um, so I guess that lady specifically asked for us, but I don't know what's going on. Thanks, my man. Thank you. A little light sparring. That's all it is. <laughs> you guys training to just do anything? I have a wrestling background, boxing okay. background, so perfect for your job, dude. Perfect for your job. Our department's doing like a police jujitsu program. You could take someone down, get their arms, then using jujitsu or some sort of grappling, to like just to contain someone is it's a lot better for my body and for yours, like the, for the bad guys. Well, folks, Street Beefs documentary had a wonderful time. Really cool what you're providing for the community. Um, any final thoughts you'd like to say to the people, man? Yeah, man, to be honest with you, guns down, gloves up. This is about stopping violence through a much lighter, lighter form of violence. <laughs> but you know what it is. Hey, yeah, appreciate, appreciate you, brother. Hey, appreciate you coming out, man. Anytime you in Phoenix, I'll let you boy. Gang, yep. gang, baby. See you guys next week. People have been asking for shorts for a long time. We dropped them. They're on the site right now. Get yours while they last. They look like this and this. So get yours, TommyGMcGee.com. Hats sold out, but now they're back in stock too. So enjoy yourself, go shopping. And if you like this video, subscribe here and check out this video.